Hi everyone, my name is Mathieu and in this video I'll take you through the steps of trial and error making forged carbon fiber pieces. So I'll go through some rapid prototyping using some uh, polyurethane resin instead of epoxy resin just to go to the results in a faster way and do the trial and error in, in an as fast as possible way. So we'll be making some 3D printed parts, molds, then we'll have the first trial pieces as a mold to make the parts off. And then in the second part, I'll, trick, I'll take you through the more like um, finished parts. So how to do it properly. So this is more like the trial and error to get it right. So in the second part, we'll go through some trial and error, some experiments and go through the final good results uh, for forged carbon fiber as it's a difficult matter because I'm used to resin infusion and so on. So I'm now trying the um, forged carbon. So we started with a 3D print. So I've modeled a model in Fusion 360 just to see how it would look like and just have like a good piece in my hands to see if it would fit. So it was printed on the GD Tech uh, printer so it's the CF plus I think or the pro uh, printing in PA12 carbon fiber filament so this is a carbon fiber filled uh, nylon if I'm correct uh, just to have the first like base sample to make a mold of so it was printed so we had some layer lines obviously with 3d printing and um, with filament. So I've sanded it. It's quite easy to sand. So it's a good thing compared to PLA, but I want to get a good finish on the parts be before making a silicon mold. So I'm applying some uh, 2K clear on top of the parts. I'm doing it by brush. Normally it's used for spray painting, uh, but now it's applied by brush because I want to add a thick layer to be able to go through the high and the low spots of the parts. So after curing, I'm going through the sanding. So getting everything flat, getting good results after this first stage. Um, and then we can add some Bondo just to finish everything up. So if at some point you think I like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell. Uh, it would help me a lot. I'm close to 100K, so it would be nice to reach that as fast as possible. So in the meanwhile, I'm printing the mold boxes. We'll be pouring some silicone on it. Um, the reason is you could do some forged carbon in 3D printed molds, but it's not very durable. So it's good to have a silicone mold to make multiple molds if needed. So that's why I'm going to cast the molds in silicon to make the cheap and fast molds first. So as a final finish, so after sanding of the first layer that was applied by brush, I'm going to spray paint it um, just to get a better result out of the spray gun. So I'm using a 0 0.8 nozzle, so it's a mini gun, so it's a fast, um, fine gun for small parts um, that fits well for parts like this. So here are the mold boxes ready, so we can proceed to the next step. So I've also printed the bottom of the molds. Uh, nowadays, I used to avoid that just to save some time on the mold boxes. You could also make the mold boxes by using some melamine or something. Uh, for me, 3D printing is faster. It's cheap labor because I don't have to look after it and it's fast and good. So um, I've just applied the first layer of P2 from Xencast, so from Easy Composites, uh, just to make sure that the bottom is fully sealed so you don't have any leaks in between the layer lines. If uh, it would be like that, mostly it won't, but I just like to add a first layer. So here we're preparing the silicon, so it's the AS um, silicon from Easy Composites. You also have the condensation cure, but it's less durable. So I want to make durable molds because um, like if you would 3D print it, it would take about five till six hours to print these parts in a not so good finish. If you have silicon molds, you can make multiple molds if needed. Because with forged carbon, you're using a lot of uh, pressure. So molds might break while trying and doing things 
uh, I've learned that from the past, so it's good to have a silicon mold in between. So you don't have to, but for me, this is the way to go if you want to go through some trial and error or have multiple molds to make multiple trials um, at once. So here are the silicon molds. I also made a new sample for my um, resins. So that's the Formula One speed car or speed shape as you want to call it. So I'm using the P2 resin again. So it's a cheap polyurethane, it's very fast curing. I've added some graphite powder just to make it black and it's easy to make multiple molds from this. So it's not 100% strong, so it's a good intermediate mold if you want to make a couple of pieces or just make some samples or trials um, that you might still have to fine tune. It's good to use this instead of the epoxy we'll be using later on uh, for the final pieces. So here's my new speed, speed shape. So it's to make some samples of materials. Um, while doing some pourings with silicon, I like to use multiple molds or like bundle all the projects at once. So it might be possible in the background, you might see some other projects coming soon um, as well. So here's the first sample. So trying to test fit the molds, everything looks good. Um, so this is like a durable plastic, like it's a, it's a 2K, so it's um, hardened and won't, won't soft under um, high temperatures, like till 60, 70 degrees. Um, but the advantage is, is to go quite rapidly through the prototyping. So epoxy would cure in about 12 hours till 24 or even more. Uh, require some post curing. The polyurethane is a fast way to grow to go through this process um, in an easy way. So another advantage is that now I know how much resin is needed. So what the volume is of the product, and now we're going to use the vac cast. So this is an old bucket I had from three years ago. It's still working. Um, Easy Composites has renamed it to something else. I don't remember how it's now, but you can check their website. It will be linked down below. Uh, but it's an aluminium filled epoxy resin. So it's, it's pretty strong. It's easy to sand. It's easy to polish. Um, it's a good product even for pre brick I'll be showing some other products like projects later on. Uh, using this material as well. So the main goal is to use poly polyurethane with carbon chopped fibers instead of epoxy is to go quite rapidly and cheap, um, make rapid iterations and get a good process understanding. So it's mainly the advantage to go quickly through all these processes and learn from, um, from these things. So here is the first sample. So um, the first idea and like the holy grail of forged carbon is to add the dry fibers into the mold and then add the uh, resin on top of that. As we're using polyurethane, it's fast setting, so you don't have a lot of time. Um, and <laughs> I'll notice later on. So this was the first mistake. So I had to try and test fit the mold first, so it didn't work. Um, I drilled the holes a bit too tight in compared to the bolts that were used. So I had to improvise, uh, making composite parts is a lot of improvising and relying on the experience you get through the years. So that's what happening here. So I'm using a clamp to force it down because like at this time we want to know the fiber to resin ratio. We want to know if it's working. Um, and that's like at this stage, the most important thing. So I've noticed there was no squeeze out of resin. So you know you're in a bad place, but I'm opening the mold and seeing a good part so far. Um, and here we see like, this is the ejector pin. So I drilled and I, I think it was 7.8 millimeters. And then I've pushed an eight millimeter bolt, so an M8 through it. So you get the threads and you were able to demold the parts from the bottom. You could also use compressed air, but I think this is a good way to remove um, the forged carbon or like parts that were pushed under pressure into the mold. Um, but like you see demolding and then you see the bottom, uh, it didn't get some resin. 
so no polyurethane went all the way to the bottom so then you like you continue and you think so is it a problem with not using enough material so i'm adding more material so more polyurethane into the mixture and then i'm opening the molds just to see if i get some good results and as you can think as long as we're only um, at the second attempt it's not right yet so um, it's not going through so we're thinking about the process are we doing something wrong uh, obviously the fast setting resin doesn't get a lot of get a lot of time to um, saturate all the fibers so we start thinking about another way to make it and that will be in the third attempt so we're going to mix um, the resin and fibers in one cup and put it all into the uh, into the mold so we're getting through the process understanding now and now it's just finding the fiber to resin ratio so we're just going through all the steps uh, it's not always easy sometimes it takes up to 10 steps but in composites like once you know um, like the right mixture all everything uh, it's just easy to repeat the process so here we can see we're getting close but not good on the resin to fiber ratio so we're working on that and then sometimes it's a matter of overshooting in resin just to know like a good average in between not enough and too much so here we are at the stage that we get some good results out of the mold using the polyurethane these four pieces were made in one day so using epoxy resin would take us way more long to um, get through all these stages so it was fast it was cheap and we we're getting a good understanding of the process so far so the fourth part as you can see like almost perfect results you have some pinholes obviously it's like mostly a problem with wet layup or um, forced or like under pressure because you're not evacuating all the air from the parts uh, but so far i'm happy with it and we got all the four um, things that we wanted to reach into this video so we went through a lot of failure failure is part of it and in the next video we'll finish the parts and make it better so it's getting consistent results and making it fast and easy to reproduce in as a cheap uh, way of working as possible so this will be for the next video i hope you like this video make sure to subscribe like and leave a comment down below see you guys in the next one thanks for watching